Hi Wilhelm fam, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to Kutch Corner. And it's a special Kutch Corner. It is. This, this is... one is a... Oh, it's a... I'll give you a, a clue. It's Draco. It's a Hampton special. No, it's it's Draco. Hampton special, no. no. It's a, <laughs> Harry, it's Harry Potter. No. As you probably already know, there's a Harry Potter series in the works. It's going to be in the works. Uh, starting in 2026. So right, the first one's going to air on HBO Max, which is just called Max now. Um, and we decided that we wanted to come up with our fantasy adult cast. I mean, it's not completely fantasy because it is people that are yeah. alive only. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it's, um, I said we didn't bother with the children because most of the children are going to be nobodies because they've got to go from, they the, need to they've be. Got to go from yeah. about the age of nine or ten up to like say it's 10 years it'll be 19 20 years old yeah 21 years that's old right body, yeah. and let's face facts here who on earth would want to cast luna after evangelina yeah. she's yeah that's right yeah oh she's amazing i love her yeah. but so most of, oh, the children, most of the children are going to be unknowns anyway well, yeah, that as age they most, sort of as thing. they mostly it's... were anyway. Yeah, this and is the other it. One. Well, it's... apart from um, Daniel Dan Radcliffe. Daniel Radcliffe would bet he'd done plays and he'd been... He Maggie, was in, um... Maggie Smith actually put him he forward. In, um... David Copperfield. Yeah, David Copperfield. Yeah. Yeah, she put him with forward after working with him in that. In fact, there's a picture of her um, sitting beside an old Victorian bath because it was sort of set in those times anyway mm. um, with him in the bath and... Uh, with a tea cosy hat on sort of thing it was really you know mm. really good uh watch actually david copperfield is yeah so so uh, warner brothers they're yeah, planning for season one to start in 2026 um uh so, so it's going to run over a 10-year period so as i said in it so um if the first three seasons are released yearly as the films were mm. as well and then the last four films, last last four seasons, are going to be oh, uh, yeah. done every two years. Then that will take it up to the ten years. That's right. Yeah. And it means the last one will be released in twenty thirty six. Seems like a long time ago. <laughs> Can't it. Um, uh, as for a starting date, no one knows where it's going to start yet. But um, good starting dates would be either first of September. Yep. Which is the which start, is of, the start uh, of the school, school year. year. Or, or even better, in our opinion, yeah, would be the, Harry's birthday, birthday yeah, or just the, before it, yeah, you know? 31st of January. Yeah. 31st of July. July. Sorry. Yeah. Um, because most of the books stop round about that sort of time, round about his birthday. I mean, we're hoping they're going to, because it's a TV series and it's hour upon hour of episode sort of thing, hmm. uh, we're hoping they're going to include things like Peeps. Um, yeah. If you haven't read the books, here's the Hogwarts Poltergeist. I'm hoping they're going to include everything. I'm, I'm guessing they yeah. may, as they're in, in, in bits with J.K. Rowling, would it still, there may even be new bits added in. I don't mind, but I'm I'm also hoping for the fight and also yeah, I mean, to get to meet bit, all the Weasley bits children. Have, bits that have already been brought in as well. Bits that have been mm. brought in since. Yeah. That are now canon that were, were not part of it. Also, the big thing for me is the house elves. Um, yeah. I'd love to see. Because, the elves. because they were they were actually in it quite a lot. Um, yeah. And, I mean... Winky. That's right, yeah, Winky. He was... She was actually Barty Crouch's yeah. senior. Yeah. Um, he's house, house elf. Um, yeah. So, again, if you haven't read the books, it's going to be worth a read before. Yeah. But they are different. Where have you gone now? Oh, there you are. You're climbing up the side of my water bottle. Right, yeah. Let's pass you to your father anyway. Oh, oh I've done for it's this. It's a hard life, isn't it? It's, you, a, you, you. it's a hard hand life for us. It's a hard hand life. With a Draco. He's very placid. But no, um, also just worth mentioning, there's been a lot of rumours of people already being cast. Now, we've researched into this quite heavily. And well, as far, as far as we can find out, no one's been no, cast yet. That's right. Um, there's well, a, lot of, been cast there's a lot of guessing and speculation, but at this time, um, no one has because I think it was Pink Poodle, wasn't it, that said somebody had been cast and I thought, oh, I wonder who else yeah. they've got. 
and that, I looked no, into no, it, no, and it's like, no, it's yet. all rumours and speculation, um, and bits God, like that. Which yes, she is. Yes, yes, she is. Yes. He wants to play. You will tell. You can tell your father about it. Go on. Yeah. Also. <laughs> Right, guys, so Draco's now running around with Molly May, so he's very really happy at the moment. Yeah. To be fair, he's, he's, he doesn't really have a different yeah. little bad bone in his body, does he? Doesn't, he doesn't, no. Uh, but, yeah. Well, what we're going to do, we've, we've written down a lot of them. Mm-hmm. I, wrote, I wrote down all of the adult ones, basically. I wrote down all the adult ones. All the ones we could come up with, we kept on there. The ones we didn't, we took off. Mm. Um. Yeah, so we uh, haven't used people from the original film, apart from one person. Yeah. Which will become evident in the bits. Yeah, that's right. Right. And it's all in alphabetical order. Although it is worth mentioning from my perspective mm-hmm. that although Neville Longbottom's grandmother isn't listed on this, personally, I would love Maggie Smith to play her. She's the right sort of age, and she's a brilliant actress, yeah. just saying. Right, so yeah. let's see. Who have we got first? First we've got Professor Cuthbert Beans. Now, if you're not aware, he's Hogwarts Professor of History of Magic, and he's actually a ghost. Yeah. One yeah. day his ghost got up from the armchair. Well, he, he went to sleep in the armchair in the staff room, and left left his body behind sort of thing so (laughs) the most exciting thing in his class is he tends to walk through the um chalkboard basically to get into his classroom yeah all right and for that we picked nigel planner nigel planner play moves in young ones uh comic strip filthy rich filthy rich and cat flap Amongst most other little bits. Cat flap. Bits. Yeah. Not heard of that it before. Was a thing. It was a thing that went on after the young ones. Same people, isn't it? Oh, I see. Apart from, yeah. Apart from one. But he can be quite droll, and his voice can be quite. He yeah. he can make it quite boring. Yeah. Um. Plus, he's the right sort of age, the right sort of look. Yeah. In our opinion. Yeah. Right. Next, we've got. Serious Black. Oh, you're going to love this, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Serious Black, we've we've gone for Roger Jean Page. Yeah, I I mean, basically, I had to have him in there because I just like looking at yeah. him. It's just so much fun. Now yeah, he was more recently in Bridgerton. Mm. I I so think he's, that he's been in other bits. As he well. has been in other bits I can't as well. Who was who mum used to watch it? Were they? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Um. But my mum agrees with me. He, he is, is actually he is very he lovely. He's actually in the original Harry Potter film. Yes, he is, but when, he didn't actually light, appear. He didn't speak. No. When the light comes in, when the light comes in at the wedding to say that the ministry's been overthrown, um, he's standing behind Hermione. Um, <laughs> now it's worth mentioning that Victor Crumb was also at Fleur's at Fleur and Bill's wedding. However, that was never shown. Because it was cut. Yeah. So there's pictures of it, but there's no video anyway. Yeah. No, this is it. But no, he he was lovely as Simon in Bridgerton, hmm. and I know he can play. I know he's capable of having that sort of. Yeah. He's got a good range, basically, yeah. guys. That's what I'm saying. And he is yeah. fun to look at. <laughs> right. We've got. Sir Cadogan. Now, Sir G- Cadogan is actually a um, knight, he's a knight paintings. in the paintings with his fat pony. And you see him briefly when um, Sirius tears at this the fat, the lady's fat lady's painting. painting. And, and in the books, he actually takes over from yes, the fat lady. Yes, he does, yeah. Mm. I mean, he's a little bit bonkers um, mm. and... He's a bit of comic relief. He really is, is yeah. yeah. I yeah. mean, it'd be quite fun to have him. He is actually mentioned a couple of times in the books. Yeah. And yeah. for that, we went for Will Meller. Now, who's he'd been in you know, with White Van Two Pints of Hot Lager, Log and a Packet of Crisps, Chris, which is one of our favourites. Uh, no offence. All yeah. sorts of different things. I mean, I, I think he's really su- he's such a nice guy. Yeah. But again, he has got 
that bit where he Doesn't actually it? has the bit where he could hit I could see him in the role. Yeah. It's not the largest role in the world, and whether or not um, they decide to take the character further is beyond me. But yeah, yeah it'd be interesting to see him in that. Yeah. Uh, next one is Reginald Catamole. Now, this is the ministry worker that Ron used used well, the polyjuice potion to change, change, to change into. into. Um, he has also got more possibility as he's he'd be a work colleague with um Percy Weasley. Well any of the ones working in the ministry. Yeah, that's right. So he, you would have you would very possibly see him around in the bits anyway. I mean he's he actually does maintenance yeah. for the Ministry of Magic. Hmm. For that, would Russell Tovey. Nah. Now he's been in uh being human. Yeah. He a, has. He played a werewolf in that, right? Yeah. Yes, I think it was. Yeah. And oh, we also had him in Sherlock as well. How yeah, the Baskervilles. Yeah. Yes, he was. <laughs> he was He was the very rich child that yeah. had lost his father at a young age and thought that a hound had yeah. killed him because yeah. they were on gas yeah. bits. Yeah. But it was good. Oh, it was, yeah. It was really good. Amongst other things you've seen him in. Yeah, I've seen him in a lot, to be fair. All right, but Amos Diggory. Now, of he, course, who he, Cedric's dad, dad um, who again works with Arthur at the ministry. That's right. He's actually, <coughs> I think he's the one that deals with animals, um, mm. like with control and right, what's it, right. magical creatures. Um, basically, if if there was a wild dragon loose and sort of thing. It would be his department that dealt with it. Yeah. There's more to it than that. But frame off the degree. Yeah. But with Tom Ward, uh, he's been in Silent Witness, amongst other things. Yeah, he's a different period of drama as you watch. Yeah, he's been like that, quite and, a lot of different and, things actually. If I right, so most currently he has been in Hitler's Engineers. Don't uh, know. Uh, the Frankenstein Chronicles. Harry right. Price, Ghost Hunter, Death Comes to Pemberley. That's really oh, right. good, yes, actually. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Um, he's also been in Death in Paradise, which I didn't know. Oh, right. um, Doctor Who, Silent Witness was the biggie, yeah. really. And yeah. he was in Miss Marple as well. Um, so, I mean, yeah. he's actually, there's a there's a very... He does quite, and quite Midsummer a Murders, things, come on, yeah. who hasn't done Midsummer Murders? I mean... Yeah, I know, but like for British actors, yeah. to be fair, we Mid could Mid probably have just Mid watched them the and bill. written down <laughs> yeah. from that. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Right. So, the next one we've got is Professor Elvis Dumbledore. Now, this is one that was always going to be a little bit on the difficult side, but we found yeah. someone, didn't someone, we? Yeah. We did. Yeah. Charles Dance. Now, I I love him. He's um in Game of Thrones. He is well, in yeah, um uh, one of those Miss Marple films they yeah, did. Uh, yeah. when there were none, I think. Yeah. Was. Yes it was, yes, yeah. Um uh, Last and, Action Hero. That's he right. Uh, I mean been, he, he usually loads, loads he stuff. usually plays he does classical work as well as yeah. different bits as well. He? So, but he usually plays either a wrong one or somebody that's not to be messed with. But he has got more range than that. I've seen him in things that have actually, you know, he has surprised me on numerous occasions. And to be honest, I think he really could do it. Mm. Hence why we suggested him. Yeah. I mean, honestly, this is just purely from my yeah. my mind. Yeah. I can tell you anything you want about the characters for Harry Potter because I am <laughs> that much of a geek. I really am. Yeah. But... Um, when it comes to remembering what programs people have been in, that's why I've got IMDb open on my phone. <laughs> <Right. laughs> no help bars. So, next one we've got Aunt Petunia Dursley. Yes. Now, we did change her around a bit, didn't we? We did, yes. Yeah, we kept yes. changing one. So, who yeah. did we go for in the, the one end? we went for in the end was Pippa Haywood. Oh, yeah. She is brilliant. She actually, I've got a few from Green Wing in this. Yes, yeah, so she was in Green Wing. Um, She's been in. She was in the British Empire as well. Yeah, she was in a lot, a lot of different 
loads of different things she's been in. I mean, she she can play comedy extremely well, but she also has she that bit where well. she can be a very straight actress. I've seen her in different murder ones as well where she's been quite emotional. Mm. I've seen her in ones that have been – she's really been quite – terrifying in some ways and <laughs> to me that made her absolutely ideal um plus to be perfectly honest she she works for that role physically you know she yeah. i mean the only problem we may have and please if you're watching this Biffa Haywood please don't take offense is that she may possibly be a little bit too old but i don't know i i think she's I no. I think she'll be all right, to be honest. Yeah. But, yeah. And to go with her, we've got Uncle Vernon Dursley. No. Who went for Peter Kay. Peter Kay, he, I think he has got the ability to be quite a good Uncle Vernon. And if they need to age him up, it's really quite easy to do. Um, so it's sort of put your imagination into it but he he is really quite diversive and yeah. i just no, so think he'll work. Different, act, different acting bits yeah we do like phoenix nights and different bits like that with comedy ones like that but so he does different different acting bits anyway so he's he has got a good range to be yeah. fair yeah that's right. right my age <laughs> yeah that's true <laughs> i mean you've got to bear in mind that I mean, some of the ones we found, I had to remind myself of the fact that, you know, it's 25 years since the first Harry Potter mm. or something. And, you know, this is why I was sort of like, yeah, it, it, you, your mind falls. And, and not only that, like when we were watching Green yet, when Green Wing was on ages ago as well. That's so right, the, yeah. the ages and so on are mm. different, but you sort mm. of, you sort of keep them in a sort of time warp almost. Yeah. Right, the next one is the fat lady. Now, of course, uh, there were two fat ladies. Uh, the first yeah. lady passed. She did, yes. Um, and then was taken over by Dawn French. Yeah. To be honest, I mean, Dawn French was fabulous, but the other one was the one that was more like I imagined her to be. Yeah. Or sort of a cross between the two, really. Hmm. All right, for that, we've got Alison Hammond. Well, she's she's quite quite bubbly and vivacious, isn't she? She is. She goes, I mean, <laughs> to be perfectly honest, um, the bit you don't I'll see is when... i say more, more like the um, Dawn French sort of version of... Yeah, than but she would work bit. really well because especially if they include Violet, who's her friend from another portrait, because um, they'll get tipsy on, like, um, liquor, liquor in, in, oh. Chocolates? Yes. Yeah, you know the the chocolates with, like, little... Chocolate with liqueurs. Liqueurs, that's the word. Yeah. Right. So her and her best friend, usually around <laughs> Christmas time, they, they get a box of chocolate liqueurs and they get a little bit merry. Um, mm. So I can imagine her being quite a fun and yeah. bubbly again. Yeah. And we've got Arabella Fig. Now, Arabella Fig um, had a bigger part in the books purely mm. because... She was actually um, a neighbour of yeah. the Dursleys. She lived across the road. Yeah. And whenever they went and took Dudley out and his friends, because um, usually Harry had to go and stay with her, but unbeknown to them, she is actually a squib. So mm. she's very aware of the magic world mm. um, and incredibly batty about her cats. So, you know, she did have a big part in it, yeah. very much so. Well, that we've got Judy Parfit. Now, you'll probably know her in Call the Midwives. Yeah. But in truth, she has played so many also different, different parts. Bits, yes. <laughs> uh, she also loves men. She's man mad. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah self-confessed. <laughs> um, 
but yeah she she is so much fun and she plays dotty well yeah now she is incredibly diverse she mm. really is and she plays sister monica joan oh, there right. you go um yeah she plays sister monica joan in call the midwives and mm. she's losing her marbles oh, a little right. um but i think she'd play a brilliant yeah not her she isn't losing her marble. No. The character she's playing is. No, the is. character she's playing is, <laughs> and it's quite gentle. And, and you sort of hear her story through Call the Midwives and that, and it's, it's quite mm. choking, really. Mm. And I have read the books with them as well, and I do recommend you do so. Mm. All right. Next, we've got August Filch. Now, August Filch is, of course, the caretaker. Um, and we mm. went with with Carl Theobald now he's done he's been in Green Wing he played a bad oh. he played a bad guy wasn't he? yeah he did hang yeah. on a minute right so yes as we said he is best known for Green Wing um he's in the Chelsea detective Mallory Towers sister Boniface mysteries oh. um yeah sorry I caught it and it went funny uh i'm just trying to see if yeah no he's been in a hell of a lot i yeah. can't place where he was the baddie but he was yeah. basically this guy he has got a really good diversity yeah. with him does, yeah. i mean yeah. he's, he's so got... funny in green wing and yeah, yet so he comedy, was comedy quite... bits, but yeah so he's Quite, He's got quite, quite a dark. Disturbing. He plays yeah. a well dark, a good dark side, mm. and we thought, you know, he'd actually make a pretty good August Filch. Yeah. Right. Mm. So our next one. Next one is Friends. Now Friends is one of the centaurs. Um, uh, it's the one that yeah. Harry met in the Philosopher's Stone uh, when he found the unicorn blood with, or the unicorn that was dead with the. Uh, Draco in the film. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, with Draco in the film. And yeah. He... And he he has more of a Yeah, it's more of a bit in the books. Yeah. He takes over When when Sib when Sybil Dragorni is sacked by Umbridge, yeah. um there was no need or the argument was that Dumbledore had found or had found a centaur that was willing to do so now bless him he's heard actually yeah, you know they dismissed, got, they dismissed him he was ostracized yeah. um but friends was really good at you know seeing the bigger picture mm. and there was a bit of an argument with albus dumbledore and dolores umbridge because well i say an argument dumbledore was always going to win yeah. um but she said if she doesn't go who's yeah, you know yeah. they're not going to be able to use her classroom and it's like i think her new professor would prefer the ground floor and as anything different other than pure blood wizards she sees them as half, she sees, she sees them, them as everything half, as half, half bloods half, half breed half breeds yes which is mm. uh, or yeah and for that we had idris elba idris elba is a very good actor he is and and you see him in uh, Luther is a big one. Yeah. He's, done, he's also been in the Marvel series. I mean, it is the, likely that they will not with necessarily. Many, many other things. Yeah, I mean, but he, he would make a fantastic friends. He's got yeah. he's got we such saying, a presence. We were saying that how we would want the centaurs done in, instead of how they're done in the film. Yeah, which we would is have them, awful. Have, really strange. We would, we would have them like they were in the films of Percy Jackson. The first film yeah with percy jackson's so yeah. it is like so they've uh, got their normal body and then, yeah and then a, horse bit under yeah basically yeah. and i just think he would look fabulous yeah um not that he's very nice all man but <laughs> you know he'd he'd make a really good friends yeah. friends character yeah all right you got nicholas for now now 
Nicholas Flamel is the creator of the Philosopher's, Philosopher's Stone. Stone. Um, or Sorcerer's Stone, if or, you're in America. Yeah. Um, and he he's incredibly fragile. His skin's wafer thin. You sort of see it in um, Fantastic Beasts. I think it's either the second or third film he's in. Yeah. Um, but he is. He's an old friend of Dumbledore, but it, yeah. he's very, he's, very uh, delicate. He's 500 years old or something. And he's, yeah, so he's, uh, 662nd yeah, so, yeah. birthday or something. Yeah. I don't know. But, yeah. yeah. So we chose for him. So him we chose Chris, Christopher's Heyendahl, Christopher Heyendahl. Now, if you haven't seen Sanctuary and yeah. you like supernatural yeah. ones, you want to watch it. Yeah. He is in it. He actually plays. Well, actually, he John he Stewart. was Jack the Ripper, yeah. but he does play John in yeah. it. Um, he's, he's been in many, many different things. He's in Gotham. Yeah, he's, he's in, in Twilight, he's guys. In Twilight. He plays he Marcus does. in Twilight. Um, yeah. In actual fact, he yeah. he's yeah. reading the Twilight books in Sanctuary. And they said to her, what do you think? He said, I, I like Marcus. Yeah. And, of course, that's the character he was playing. Yeah. But he is... But, um, he's, he's a very good actor. He plays different, yeah. a lot of different parts. And he, he can look a lot very different as well. Yes. Yeah, he can. He he's. We were watching him with something... Was he in Grimm? I can't remember no, if it was Grimm but or he was not. Looking, he looked very... I mean... Wife-like. A bit as yeah, well. this is it. I mean, he's he's certainly got the acting it as well, skills. He's, he's quite tall as well. He's about six and a half foot tall, hmm. so it make, makes that helps make him look thinner. Yeah, this is as it. Well. I mean, that's quite. Um, that's quite an older picture. That's quite an old hmm. picture. So he is older than that, but yeah. no, brilliant actor. Hmm. All right, next one, Mundunkers Fletcher. Now, Dung, which is the short name for him. Um, is actually a good friend of Sirius Black. He's also, he, you okay. first and only meet him in the, oh my goodness, in the film where Har he he plays uh, Harry. Yeah. And he goes with Mad Eye and yeah. apparates, basically. He's not yeah. reliable. He's a thief. Yeah. Um, half Black Prince, right? Half Black Prince. No. No. No, it's, well, no, it's, it's got to be uh, Deathly Hallows. Yes, I think He's still it got was. a trace on him. Will they change? Yes, it was. It was the Deathly yeah. Hallows. He was in, actually, the, he was in the book before that. Yeah, he was. Um, yeah. And being part of the Order. Yeah. Um, he was part of the original but, Order. But, yeah, he, his part was seriously cut. I quite like the way they made him sort of like a bit of a Del Boy character. Yeah. But how he's described in the books is a pipe smoking pile of rags that smells yeah. a bit funky. Yeah. But yeah, he's yeah. good heart, love serious, but yeah. not an honest person. Yeah. But that, we've gone for Andy Serkis. Andy Serkis is a very good actor. Yeah. And um, he he's known for. Well, pretty well creating the whole motion capture thing, really, for, for acting on motion capture. He did Golem. That's he right. Did, he did Kong and them. Uh, he was a bad guy in Ink, Inkheart. He was in the Christmas Carol one they did more recently. That's right, the yeah. The dark one they did. He played the Ghost of Christmas Present, I mean, which was very, really, really strange sort of bit. And he is, he he looks a, he looks a bit different anyway. But yeah. he, he plays mysterious and strange I, and dark very well. I think <laughs> so, I think yeah. he could really take the role and make it his own. Yeah. Obviously, I would like to point out that we have no say in what's going on. <laughs> this is purely oh, like a fantasy football yeah, team. That's right. I think that's how they work anyway. But I yeah. don't like football. Yeah. Apart from Carolina Castice, yeah. <laughs> that was when it was worth watching. But yeah, right. So the next one is Professor Phileas Flitwick. Mm -hmm. Now, Professor Flitwick is the Charms Professor. Yeah, and he's also uh, possibly the best, the best um, wizard jeweler. 
that's right yeah he yeah. um he ha he won uh numerous awards yes for it yeah for his uh dueling ability um now for for this character there is only one person who can do it and that's what we were saying yeah. about it really i think either it is, it's warwick davis. warwick davis now we've is, chatted he about is this no, he's a very good actor he's very diverse as yes well, isn't he, he is um he's used to all the stuff you plant on him but i i am with i'm it's fine if they do use someone else mm. but i think they should involve him in the choice if they do yeah because he he is an extremely established actor yeah um and i mean i'd love i'd love it if he had a son like i know he's got a son but i don't know if his son would be old enough to do anything um know. or whether he even wants to carry you know follow his father in his footsteps sort of yeah. thing but i think warwick davis at least should be involved in the characters he sees things on a, in a different way in a different yeah. perspective um and he's the he would be important. He actually played in in the Harry Potter films as he well. He really did. I mean, yeah. it's not just Harry Potter films. I mean, but he, he played in a lot Willow. Of in that. I mean, I Maybe loved Willow. him in yeah. that. He. He's that's how, but where he met his wife actually was Willow. Yeah. Yeah. His, his first film he was in. I saw that cinema. What one was that? He played an Ewok. Oh, that's right. He played um, Wicket. That's right. Wicket the Ewok. Yeah. He, he was a child then. <laughs> But no, I just, I just think he's, he is very established, and the same thing actually with Maggie Smith. Um, if they went to her for advice on whether actors would be the right ones for the parts, they're mm. both really established, yeah. and you know, yeah. they're worth listening to. All right, we've got the Fat Friar. Now, of course, this is the Hufflepuff ghost. Yeah, um, he's well, very jolly. They. Yeah, you see him, I think, once in the Philosopher's Stone when yeah. they when the ghosts come through into the Great yeah. Ball at the very start of the feasts. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure whether it's on, but the Gryffindor uh, ghosts do play more of a yeah. vi vibrant role in the books than they do, of course, in the mm. films. Yeah. For that, we've gone for Cliff Parisi. Now he plays. He played Minty in EastEnders. Yeah. And more recently, of course, he is in Call the Midwives. <coughs> yeah. And I just love him. I just think mm. he is great. He's really likable. He's, you know, he's just such a nice man. He's mm. sort of one of those people that comes on the screen. You sort of smile because you know this guy is super, super friendly and gonna make you smile in whichever way and i've seen him playing different sort of roles to a degree but he's that's his his sort of starting peg you know yeah. um so yeah he would make a brilliant um hufflepuff ghost he really yeah. would yeah uh look cornelius fudge which is of course the minister for magic yeah and for that we were with david williams yeah, I mean, the thing is, I mean, I've seen David Williams playing different parts. I've seen him being himself and things like that. Well, um, serious bits as well. I, uh, I like him, but I, I, I'm not entirely convinced that you know what he's like as a person. I don't know him, um, no. but because of that, I actually think he'd play be perfect for that role. Yeah. Um, but yeah. yeah. Well, it's like, it's like, uh, we don't know if any of these would get on with each other. No, no idea. <laughs> but there's, there's a lot of egos in one, one TV series. I know, <laughs> I know he is perfectly capable of hmm. playing that part. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, Fudge is a little bit vain. I'm not saying David Williams is, okay? <laughs> I'd like to point that out. Um, but Fudge is quite a vain man. He's a very silly man. He sends two or three hours to Dumbledore a day mm. just to do the job. Yeah. Um, 
he's quite pompous in some ways and he's a bit of an idiot which actually makes him pretty dangerous yeah um now i am absolutely convinced david williams could play that role yeah um he's got the right sort of persona if that makes sense yeah but yeah all right we've got Fenrir Greyback. Now, he is the werewolf, um, other than Lupin, of course. But he is the worst werewolf of all. Um, he would position himself outside of people's homes that had children. Um, he had taken a liking for human flesh, even when he wasn't in wolf form. Yeah. Um, uh, he, he was also used by um, Voldemort as a... Uh, so, Someone to teach people a lesson. That's right. Mm. I mean, he is a really nasty piece of work. Mm. Um, and, yeah, he he was quite an interesting character, but he's sort of one of those characters to make your skin crawl. Yeah. And he was the one that actually attacked uh, Bill Weasley. Yeah. You didn't, if, you, if you've just watched the films, again, you haven't seen or... No. I say scene, I you sort of see it in your head when you're reading the books. But he there was a big fight at Hogwarts. They mentioned about it. Yeah. Because when, But they when, didn't when, mention when where Harry, exactly. No, but when Harry changed they all changed him to Harry. Yeah. He, he had scars on the side of his face. Mm. And that part was actually played by Mad Eye Moody in real life's son. Uh, son. Well, Fenway Greyback got Rory McCann. Now he's a He's a large man. Yeah. He is, yeah. Uh, he played the Hound in Game of Thrones, amongst other things. No, I actually, I did. I absolutely loved him uh, in Game of Thrones. I thought he was, there was a lot to the Hound. Mm. Um, it was, it was actually really well, he was really well written in that because you sort of saw the whole circle of why he was like he was. Yeah. And... I actually was quite endeared to him in the end. Mm. Um, now, I think, you know, he is a bear of a man, and mm. I have got no doubt that he could play um, Fenrir, because, yeah. not and because... He's, he's also got, because he's got the stature as well, which make him, makes him even more intimidating. Yeah, this like is like it. That, I mean, I should That's imagine, it. actually, in real life, he's a really nice sort of gentle giant. Well, but... he, looks, he looks like quite a teddy bear. <laughs> Yeah, this is it. But he does play, he can play that part. Yeah. Um, Because you saw that the hound change, his character did change. Yeah. So, yeah. And as I said, the big thing there was Game of Thrones, and you know I'm a super fan of that as well. Yeah. All right. We've got Professor Wilhelmina Grubby Plank. Now, she actually, while Hagrid was with the Giants, um, she took over and did his. Uh, care for magical creatures yeah. classes. Mm. So she didn't have a massive part in it, but you know. Yeah. So we went with. We went with uh, Penelope Wilton. Now, she is fabulous. Mm. I've just got to remind myself what she's in. Oh, a lot, a lot of eighties things, yeah. a lot of eighties or nineties bits. Downton Abbey. I'm a huge Downton oh, Abbey yes, fan, yeah. and. She actually plays, um, I can't remember her first name, but Crawford. Hmm. That's going to bug me now. Crawford? Uh, Crawley? Yes, Crawley. Yeah. Um, oh, she's in Downton Abbey, a new era still. Well, she will be, uh, yeah. She was Matthew Crawley's mother in it, yeah. and the relationship between her and of course maddie maggie smith who also mm. was in it um was absolutely fantastic but yeah. she she is in a hell of a lot of different things oh yes um yes, yes i yes. mean downton abbey was the big one for me but she's been in a lot oh, so and she was i mean a lot, a lot. The, she was a lot of things in the 80s 90s bits yeah this is yeah. it um but yeah murder is easy as well which was a mm. newer agatha christie one mm. Now she can do comedy and she can do yeah, straight straight yeah. acting as well. Yeah, so I mean, 
she's quite posh as well and Professor Gravity Plank the way she's sort of um, explained in the book yeah. is sort of like um, sort of old old sort of family country tweeds and what have you hmm. not not tomboyish precisely but you know um just like not a girly lady if you know what i mean sort of more of the more of the of um the yeah 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 so i just think she'd actually make a really good actress for that <laughs> but to be honest a lot of these could play many different parts in harry potter yeah. and we just had fun putting them together as i've said yeah. So who have we got next? Who have we got next is Rubius Hagrid. Now, this was difficult, and I will be brutally honest with you. I think if Robbie Coltrane had been alive still, I don't think I'd have tried as hard to replace him, I think. Um, I know that it really needs to be done, but I think I'd have found myself in the same situation as Flitwick, to be honest, and the same with Severus Snape. Um, and I say again, I'd have liked to keep McGonagall the same, but again, it's 25 years on, and yeah. it's a 10 year thing that I'm not saying anybody's going to pass, I'm really not, yeah. but um, I'm just not seeing that they'd necessarily have the time or yeah. energy to put into the roles. Yeah. Right, so, for that, we've gone with Christian Nan. Now, yeah. of course, if he you've was... watched Graham. Uh, Game of Thrones. He was yeah. Holdor. He was Holdor. Yeah. Um. I mean. Yeah. He also is also a pro prolific DJ. Yeah, which yeah. really shocked us. Yeah. Really shocked yeah. us. But he's 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 got the st the stature and everything. Yeah. To be Holdor, be Holdor, be Hagrid. He has. I mean, it's not it's not so much of it. And to be perfectly honest, he is a really good actor. Again. Yeah. And he has yeah. that that diversity. Well, he, got, he got a lot of different emotion through, yeah. only with only saying one word. Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, so it's... I mean, it was he. He was a very special character, mm. um, and yeah, I just think he would make a fabulous Hagrid. Mm. All right, the next one is Professor Rolanda Hooch. Now, Professor Hooch is the flying instructor as it were um she's also the referee for the quidditch games and yeah she she basically teaches them how to use broomsticks mm. now i actually loved zoe wanamaker's mm. character doing that i thought she was fantastic so i wanted to we wanted to find somebody that would be equally amazing mm. so we went for went for tilda swinton Tilda Swinton, she's been in different bits. She's she was in Doctor Strange. She played the Ancient One. Uh, right. She was in Narnia. She played the White Witch. Yeah, I mean, um, she she was my she was one of my picks for actually for being a Doctor Who. She's said she has something about her. She's, she's quite, quite ethereal, she's, isn't she's she? She's quite ethereal. She's she's quite androgynous. She she has no. She's like she could be. She could, anything. Anything, no, she could be a being, basically. Yeah. No, she, she could be an alien. She could be. <laughs> she's, so we no. wanted we wanted somebody that would have their own presence mm. that is slightly different, you mm. know. Um, so no, she she just seemed ideal for mm. for the role. And again, Narnia, huge fan. <laughs> I used to read the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe series over and over again when I was younger. <coughs> right. And the next one is Bellatrix the Strange. Now, seriously, one of my favourite characters. Yeah. And she was played so well in the films. Yes. And Helena, please don't mind me using your first name if you're listening to this, which I very much doubt, but, oh, my God, would I be over the moon? Um, no, I I love her. 
She's a fabulous actress. Yeah. She's so off the wall. She's just as dotty in real life from what I can yeah, ascertain. Right. <laughs> and they let her make that part her own. And by yeah. God, she do it. Yeah. So. Hmm. For this one, mm -hmm. we've gone with Lizzie Ann Brand. Now, she's been in different bits. She's currently in um, Walking Dead. Um, but more, more for on us, she was in Lucifer. She played oh, Maze. Sure. <laughs> no, Mazakeen. Mazakeen. But yeah, Maze for sure. Yeah. Now, she is absolutely as well. yeah. amazing. Yeah. She has got the ability got, to play Bellatrix. Yeah, so she's got the look. She's got, look. She she's has. got, the, so you've got the intimidation bit where you can yeah. look, look at a bit like that. Uh, she's also. Also a bit with the with the fight, one fighting and bits like that. Yeah, she's an accomplished fighter and bits anyway. Oh, she is. She's so absolutely she's, incredible. Yeah. And Lucifer's one again that I would recommend to you to watch. Mm. Um, it's just so good. Mm. But she is brilliant. Mm. All right. Next one is Gilderoy Lockhart. No, I actually never really took to the Gilderoy Lockhart that they um, cast. It's preference. Yeah. And it's also, you've got to bear in mind as well, because I've read the book so much, yeah. when the films come came along, mm. um, I sort of had an idea in my head and it didn't it didn't tie in with my idea. Yeah. So we changed it, obviously. Well, yeah, so you want, want to be someone who's good-looking, obviously. So good-looking, good yeah, a bit of a he could, he, could play, he could play conceited, he could play... Yeah. Play, it's, um, Out for himself. Yeah, yeah. And it also helps because he's a bit of a geek as well. Yeah. We've gone with Henry Cavill. Uh, That's Henry right. Cavill was uh, Superman. He was the Witcher. Yeah. Uh, until they they moved away because they moved away from the books and the and the games from it, and he, he he didn't like it, so he left because he is he is that much of a geek and he follows all the bits. I so know, I actually, know he's uh, obviously got darker features, darker hair, and, of course, Gilderoy was very blonde. But to be perfectly honest, I don't know if there is actually someone out there that would directly hit what I thought he would be like. Hmm. Now, um, Gilderoy Lockhart um, hmm. said to have a bit of a weak chin and bits like that. Hmm. Henry Cavill's beautiful, bless him. Hmm. And... I just think that he has got the ability there to play. Mm. Now, I also mm. realise that you're going to be watching us saying about bits like this and thinking you're on cloud cuckoo land if you think they're going to put that amount of money into of bringing this wouldn't. people yeah. up. Yeah, of course, course they're wouldn't. not. Yeah. But we're putting together a fantasy <laughs> one, right. you see. A um, bit, bit of trivia. He was actually up, up for the part of playing Edward in Twilight. He was actually... Stephanie Myers, favourite one for being it. Mm, I could see it. Yeah. But, but, uh, Robert Patterson, his part in the Harry Potter film, we've actually got him the role of the of um, Edward in Twilight instead. Yeah. And to be fair, I love Twilight as well. Someone's got it. Right. <laughs> the next one is... Steve. <laughs> Rumour Sleeping. Right, so Lupin, he, one of the marauders. he wasn't exactly who I'd pictured again, mm. but I did love him for it. I thought he mm. was brilliant. Mm. Um, but, yeah, I, I don't know. You need, we needed somebody that really screamed. Mm. We, <sighs> yeah, we... <laughs> With Remus, he he has a lot of levels to yeah. him. Um, not as many as Sirius, because mm. Sirius has many, 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 many levels. Mm. But, yeah, Lupin, we put serious thought into as well. Yeah. And with Joseph Maul. Right, so Joseph Daniel Turner Maul. <laughs> <laughs> British actor. Now he actually he he would make a blooming brilliant. He was in Game of Thrones as well, but he's really? yeah he was oh. Uncle Benjamin. All right, 
Of course he was. That's All it. Right. Yeah, that's it. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I mean, it wouldn't be the first time he'd play a wolf, would it? Because let's face facts, he was one of the Stark clan. So, right. and of course, Stark's yeah. winter's coming. We've got the yeah. wolf sigil. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, he played Benjamin Stark in Game of Thrones. And, boy, has he played a lot of different... Oh, yes, yeah. A yeah, lot, a yeah, lot. Yeah. I mean, uh, Ripper Street he was in as well. To be honest, guys, there's tons on here. Lord of the Rings as well, TV series. All right. Um, Mary and George. He's been in a lot, yeah. real lot. Oh, yeah. Um, which is also what leads us to believe that these people are not necessarily going to be picked for these parts because we sort of, you know... We never know how much money they're going to put into it. That's true. That is true. Right. They need us, really, don't they, as yeah. a as a sort of, like, yeah. super fan voice. Yeah. Right. We've got Lucius Malfoy. Now, seriously, he is another one where he he was absolutely amazing in his part. He, he again, is one of those actors that, again, takes it mm. and makes it their own. Well, and he has, has lived different bits. He did. He, it was his idea that we had long hair as well. And to be fair, the, the long hair worked. It yeah. really did. I mean, it was absolutely perfect. He oh. was Lucius Malfoy. Hmm. We were before Matt Smith. Now, of course, His now, Highness. Matt, Matt Smith was, well, biggest bit, he, he was Dr. Who. <laughs> Yeah, he was Doctor Who. He was in Philip in the Crown. He was in the Crown. He was and... in House of Dragons. Yeah, um, he's quite a diverse actor. He is like, brilliant. He, things. he is absolutely <coughs> excellent. Yeah. I loved him in the Crown. I really did. And if you want to see what he looks like with long blonde hair, he's in House of Dragons. Yeah, with long blonde hair as well. And honestly, he could do it. He's yeah. got the right sort of. Um, Upper crust face, you know, he well, he would be absolutely, yeah. yeah I mean, he there. screams sort of, yeah, more regal, if you see what I mean. So, mm. we thought he would make an amazing mm. Lucy of Malfoy, mm. but they'd have to pay some pennies, I think. Well, the next one we've got is Narcissa Malfoy, yep. For that, we've gone with Lena Headley, Lena Headley, even. Lena Headey. Yeah. Headey? Headey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, she was also in Game of Thrones. Oh, that's right. Is it? Go on. Who is she? I can't see her face well enough to see. No. Is it Cersei? It, it's Cersei, yeah. 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 yeah so, Lena Headley. Uh, Lena Headey um, played Cersei in Game of Thrones. And she was absolutely Blooming amazing. Yeah. Um, I didn't like how the cup up for her when it didn't work for me. The last season of Game of Thrones, I was not yeah, but a it huge fan. You know. <laughs> it wasn't. She didn't get her come up no. and I didn't like that. Um, but she can play play like the. But she can play yeah, some severely no, so the, the stuck up stuck up woman and this like that. Yeah. But she's also got the mother side as well. So That's right. Yeah. yeah. I mean. To be perfectly honest, uh, Narcissa Malfoy, her one redeeming thing is the fact she absolutely adores her son yeah. above everything else. Mm. Um, so, you know, I mean, that's already a role that, let's mm. face it, that was Cersei to a T, <laughs> you know. She loved her children and yeah. pretty much nobody else really mattered. So yeah. she's already there, really. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's sort of like a part made for her, but it's mm. not just... Her yeah. acting, her look is right as well. Oh, that's right. right. Next one is Madame Malkin. Now, Madame Malkin is actually um, the... Haberdash or the clothes, the clothes maker. The clothes maker, yeah. Um, I can't think what the... Is it Ma... See, this is where I get sticky with actual names of bits. Yeah. But either way, she's the one, because in the book, Straco Malfoy and Harry Potter First met mate. each other at uh, Madame Malkin's yeah, that's right. um, when they're being stalled for their robes and what have you. Yeah. 
and yeah it was quite a poignant moment um but it's not the only time um that she was used so it would be quite nice to have her in it because at least when there's returning bits going on and things like that but she's an ultra busy woman that's very polite quite sort of like scatty but knows exactly what she's doing um so yeah who did we choose for her for her we chose ruth jones yeah Hmm. now i know ruth jones has been in many many things yeah probably gavin and stacy yeah i mean i love nessa in that um but i've seen her playing softer roles as well um by serious roles as well yeah this is it yeah. she's an incredibly diverse actress mm. and to be honest there's quite a few roles that she could have played in the harry mm. potter tv series um there are quite a few to be fair she is very diverse um but i quite like the idea of her as madame mankin but if they had her in something where her role was bigger, I'd be perfectly happy with that as well. Mm. Right, guys, so that leaves mm. us at the end of part one. Um, <laughs> basically, we worked out how long this went on for and we decided to cut it in two. Mm. So you'll get this week and next week yep. for it. Um, it just means it gives me a little bit longer to yeah. recover. Yeah. So... As always, my lovelies, let us know what you think so far. That's yep. really important because yep. we've been loving doing this. Yes. And as always, my lovelies, be different. Mm-hmm. A very merry unhoo-hoo. And... Um. Boop! <laughs>